Uh, yo, this is living boy in a world that's complicated. Okay, Mr. Middle finger up the ones who hate This is boy Matt, aka Hops. And you're now rocking with the best. And then they run up to get paid. You did. This either you and me, or this has gonna be. I got to be the one to make it. Hold up. Hold up. Still hold up, cash, hold up, cash, hold up, cash, on me, that money, hold up, bag, hold up, bag, hold up, time to make this, hold up, man, hold up, man, hold up, man. you don't like it, hold up, man. Well, if it ain't your boy and your other boy. Yeah, both your boys yeah, at the same time, same time. Same back same, time. Yeah, I about same to go into channel. it. I, I know you was. I cut you off. Yeah, I already know. And it's, it happens sometimes. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited as, my, as my kid used to say, it wasn't excited. It was I'm excited. <laughs> it just excited, like yeah. uh, you, like what happens when you get a ticket. <laughs> That's what's you up. Get excited. Excited, big time. All right. Uh, All right. well, it's it's been a minute. Yeah, it has. It don't feel like it, but it has been. Well, it's been a. There's been a lot. A lot. I mean, we've done a lot of shit over the past week. Oh yeah, yeah. It definitely uh, been together nice. and individually, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely been a busy week. Um, I don't see it not being no busy. Well, it's gonna be busy for me up until uh, I don't know. Maybe after uh, March or something. I got holidays. God damn, you went and, way uh, out, didn't you? Yeah, holidays and birthdays and everything. These next four months about to be about to be go time. And, well, you know. It's one of those, uh, it is the holidays. I guess you can't say officially, it is the start of the holidays. Once it gets close to uh, the giving of thanks, uh, the slaughtering, <laughs> slaughtering of Native Americans that people so just want to, they just want to celebrate and call it Thanksgiving. Um, me, me personally, I call it harvest because that is what it is, in my opinion. That's what me and my wife and what my family celebrates, but... Um, fuck a pilgrim. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess that one of the reasons that my white ass is here. But I wonder if they still teach about pilgrims in school. I don't know what the fuck they teach uh, in my school kids anymore. Never, uh, they act like, like they, they don't know what the fuck's going on half the time, though, yeah, right? Yeah. So I don't know that. Uh, like I said something about a pilgrim the other day, or maybe not the other day, a while back. In my and they act like, what the fuck is a pilgrim? Yeah. So it made me think, like, yo. Maybe they don't teach that no more. I know they don't uh, have to do like cursive writing no more. And I remember I learned even table etiquette in school. That's something that um, I learned in elementary. And I know they don't teach that shit. So, so it's, I know they don't teach motherfucking cursive no more. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's crazy how the things they uh, feel, or uh, you know how how the curriculum changed over a uh, time. Um, they like, who the makes these choices? But yeah, man, uh, it has been, man. We um, collectively, you know, uh, we did a Thursday live, like a quick, quick um, hello and goodbye um, <laughs> live from um, a riff. And if, for all our people that's outside of our area, riff is the Rome International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So uh, we um, end up being. Um, I guess uh, invited, you know what I mean? Uh, definitely because, invited. Uh, my co-host right here, uh, Hollywood Hops, had had his uh, a show that he he is a part of. Uh, he he that he is in um, debut at the uh, festival on opening night. So you know we made sure we we were there uh, for the festivities. You know what I'm talking about uh, with and, him and the nappy and the nappy, nappy roots. roots. <laughs> yeah, the reason course. I know those fellas. And, yeah. and of course we got we we had all excess passes for the whole weekend and got invited to the after party. Yeah, 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 man. Um, but yeah, man, I was I was happy with the show. That's the first time I'd seen it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and, uh, uh, it turned out real good. Everybody laughed. You know, it was funny. Yeah. It wasn't. It was uh, those parts in it that I didn't know they were going to put those parts in. Like the whole thing about how do you grow a beard that long? I didn't know that was going to be in there. Yeah. Um, and then I got. You know, like uh, Otato shot some stuff behind the scenes footage that that uh, that he had. You know that that you know. Oh yeah, I still ain't let see the light of day yet. Yeah, because I'm still waiting on. Still got that chug uh, video. Clear it. Clearance. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. got that chug video with me and Buffalo. Still, 
with the oh, player you, oh, role. Yeah, yeah that, I still yeah, got that. Yeah, yeah, so, I tell, it's uploaded to YouTube, but it's private, so yeah. the only way you can see it is if I send you the link to yeah, it. Yeah, that's what's up. So we still got that. That that um, and I'm also still waiting on the link to the actual show. Yeah, man. Uh, that, I that, think uh, I'm gonna enjoy Forty Acres in the Brew. Yeah. Um, shout out to the to the big small town of uh, Rome, Georgia. Uh, yeah. They made it, it. It looked good. It was, it was. It made me feel proud of the uh, of the city. You know what I'm saying? But really, the whole uh, weekend did just uh, uh, proud of Seth. Uh, so I, he he been doing it for uh, he been doing this event for a while. Yeah, but I, I mean, came across I mean, it. Uh, I don't even yeah, know. I, how know, I know he's, uh, I feel like he uh, was, said like 13 years yeah, or something been a like while. that. I know, um, when I was doing, um, another one of my business ventures, uh, called Broad Street Live, um, that's the first time I, uh, was introduced to Riff, and that was back in 2017, 2018, mm -hmm. and, um, it was dope then as well. So just to see that he's still pushing, uh, pushing it, he's still going hard, he's staying consistent. Um, he always tried to him and the whole riff uh, staff uh, don't you know not not, not to forget anybody. Shout uh, out Micah whole, Melissa Pullen. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, Micah Melissa. They showed us a lot of love. Uh, April, man. Um, Seth's wife. Yeah, April. Um, and just you know anybody anybody from that organization, man. They yeah. um they were real sweet. They really uh they real nice, good good hearted people, and they really put they all into that event. Um, and, you know, and they they, they comped us the hundred fifty dollar uh, passes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and that was, we couldn't. You know, I couldn't afford it. Uh, I couldn't afford that whole weekend. So if you would have to, um, how um, process it? You know, if y'all if you came to that event and just wanted to do one night, I'm assuming it's like fifty dollars a night because mm -hmm. that's what uh you know those four days round it out to so that still ain't bad to have a pass but you can just come to every event every after party um those after parties the whole, off the uh, chain. Weekend. yeah man dope <laughs> dope after parties man <laughs> all you uh, can eat and drink apparently I met, um uh, mario van peoples wasn't expecting to see him at the after party i was at the bar uh waiting on a drink and I just looked at the corner of my eye. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, hey, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Van Peoples, you know, you mind for a picture. And he was real down to earth. You know, uh, that picture didn't turn out as good, so I had to come bug him for a second one. But uh, he was <laughs> you, very, very down to earth, man. Your homie, my new homie, Jamie. I, yeah, my, I, liked, it. I liked that dude. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, you know sir. Who, he, who he reminds me of? Is uh, Kylie Deveron, World Domination. You ever you met Kylie Deveron before? Nah. nah. You 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 going to? Yeah. Because y'all y'all need to. Yeah. Yeah, because Kylie uh, writes and does his own music, and I don't know why you guys don't know one another. Yeah. yeah he I don't. names Kylie Deveron. He goes and his World Domination is his. That's his. Uh, that's his goal in life. Yeah. And I don't know why you you two don't know each other. It clicked in my head when, when I met Jamie. The first thought in my head was like, "This dude reminds me of Kylie fucking Deveron." Yeah. That, and I'm just like, and then then my second thought was like, "Does D know who Kylie Deveron is?" Nah. I have this no dude idea. plays piano, writes his own music, raps, and I don't know why you two have not been. In, he he lives downtown on Broad Street, and I don't know why you guys don't know one another. Probably because so, he lived downtown on well, Broad Street. I'm Broad just Street. saying, but y'all need y'all got to link up and do yeah, something yeah, together. Shout out to you, homie. Yeah. Maybe we'll uh, we'll come across each other one of these days, man. And uh, he's one of them guys something. that gets up and and uh, you know he he does the social media and everything, but it's always like, hey, whatever you're doing today, put a smile on your face and look and and, and take uh, take over the world. Yeah, that's that's his thing. That's how I look. That's what's Positive up. Positive vibes only. That's what's up. That's how I've been uh the last I'd say seven. Um I've been I'm working on thirty, so my mind will be uh switched <laughs> to the next gear. But the last seven days that's been my whole uh mindset. Like, you know, of course it's hard. You wake up in the past, you know, you don't automatically wake up with whatever was on your mind from yesterday. But um as me and my uh cousin was talking about the other day, how we get all caught up in all this other shit. But all, all that really matters is the now. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, right now. Uh, Wake tomorrow. up with a clean slate, it's clean slate every day is yeah. what me and Shay does. Yeah. I mean, we all do. We, You know what I'm you saying? Have to. Some people, uh, minds won't well, uh, trick them into thinking that they don't. But we all, uh, every day is a new slate. Yeah. Um, and that's all we down. have. Like, tomorrow, I ain't promised 
for the most part, like we said, tomorrow is nothing but um, a projection. It's, it's probable that it, it might come, but, you know, it's not promised. No. So, and yesterday, you can't, I mean, it's over. You can't change nothing about it. So, it, it's an afterthought. It's in the past. So all that matters is the now, right now. You can't go back. And especially with all this death going on, R.I.P. to uh, Timon. Uh, is that who you posted to, uh, my Well, nah, I posted him like last a week or two when he passed. Oh. But uh, today. Well, shout out to him because I didn't uh, see that one. Uh, uh, Young Dolph, uh, a hip hop artist straight out of uh, Memphis, Tennessee, man. I've heard, it, I've heard his name. What happened to him? Yeah, man. The, you know, the Sensual age old, uh, tale. Yeah. Uh, uh, got. Um, to, to my knowledge, you know, I might go into it a little deeper uh, mm. later on, yeah. but um, to my knowledge, he was uh, assassinated God dang, uh, man. in uh, Memphis, Tennessee today. Gang-related stuff? I, I don't know it's if it's gang-related or just pure hatred. But, petty uh, bullshit. It's just, I mean, any Somebody reason. what he wanted. Like, I posted, uh, t you know, when I posted RIP to him, it's like, you know, any reason ain't a good reason no. unless it's something like you know some family uh type shit but outside of that it's you know it's it's really just sad and senseless and it's it's just sad to even have to keep uh speaking on it man you know it, i don't know it's just crazy but r.i.p to that young man we the same age you know what i'm saying he got a family i got a family when shit like that happened to people in my peer group it just like i say always re-resonates and refocus everything like yo you know i'm here when i get when i'm done with this podcast and i walk outside this door i get to breathe in that uh that nice foul air in my lungs you know feel that on my skin and that uh unfortunately that young man won't be able to do that later on this evening his 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 day is his day in and his life force have been cut short it's just like you got to um as hard as it is, you got to uh, value the, the small things because they, they the only thing that really matters. And plus, man, we, you know, you get older, man, times get shorter. Man, it seems like life goes by faster. I know that's the cliche thing to say, but it really does. Like, I was just thinking today, man, next week's, I mean, we're almost into December already. Yeah, I know it, time's man -made, made, and I get that, but I mean, it is what it is. This shit done. <laughs> so it's really just because, you know, we, we say looking ahead all the damn time. Yeah, that's You true. ain't never here. You nah, know what I'm saying? But so, it, it, it really is. I mean. So then when you do realize, then when you are here for that moment, it's like, oh, shit, all this time. Yeah. yeah. You, ain't been, you ain't been present. Nope. You've been gone this whole time. But uh, but I, I try to slow it down. You know, I'm not in any hurry. Now, I'll tell you uh, what I, I do look forward to stuff. Um, I do look forward to th certain things. Like, I look forward to doing this podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, I look forward to uh, hearing new music from Otato. Yeah, I yeah. look forward to uh, just any time I get to make music. I look forward to hanging out with, with friends and, and family. And I look forward to things like that. And those things do come in the future. So, those things I do look forward to. I don't look forward to going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so you know uh i pick and choose i guess what i look forward to um but i do live for d the moment a lot and it causes me, my work day to, to fit suck sometimes because you know sometimes i stay up too late and sometimes yeah. i i don't um uh, i don't know what they, they call it responsibilities but i think that was a horse shit and um you know that's why on thursdays i might stay up to goddamn one o'clock in the morning because mm -hmm. I should, normally I prob should probably be in the bed if I want to get that beauty sleep, but fuck it, I'm having a good time. Yeah, yeah. I you wish uh, I had that uh, switch in me. My daughter the, the same way, and it, it irritates me at times. But like I was telling her mama, like you know, that's that's me all day. I I've never been like I've never, but you know, when I was younger, I would sleep in later. I would get up at. Uh, well, my teenage years, uh, we all, I feel like, was up early for, um, um, what's that, Saturday mornings, mm -hmm. cartoons, oh, and hell all yeah. that shit. So, when well, I got nothing older. nothing to be in my tidy while he's in a bowl of fucking cereal yeah, watching yeah, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. Shit. My shit with Power Rangers and VR Troopers oh, and wow. all that shit. Uh, uh, I think it was the WB or the CW or some shit. They had they went uh, ABC too. Um, their uh, Saturday mornings. Uh, with X Man and all that shit, but um, 
but um, that's a good shit. Yeah, that was that was good shit, man. That, that's nostalgia. Um, but in my teenage years, I, it would be eleven, twelve though. Like if I if I stayed up, but I never could go to bed, and I still can't even now. Like if I go to bed at two or three, I'm a uh, four. I'm be up at eight at least at the latest, eight or nine at the latest. But I would wake up anywhere earlier or uh, in, anywhere in between that. Uh, periodically, I don't. If I go to bed that late. I ain't sleeping all the way through. It's just like, I don't know. I guess because I got so much on my mind. Uh, oh, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I think it may be a parental thing. Yeah. I think you may wake up just because, you know, you may, even if it's one of your kids may sneeze or maybe your kids may cough or something. Yeah. It may wake you up. Yeah. I think that has to do with like a parental, uh, like a, a, a sense. Oh, I really know. did. Like I, uh, when I was little, I would wake up. Throughout the night, just to make sure they was uh, still breathing. I think that, that I think of, that's uh, an anim animalistic. Uh, I think that's kind of like a tribal. I think that's just an instinct. Mm -hmm. And I think I think, um, and I think I don't have that because I don't have any biological children. Because I've never. I don't think, and maybe, and it don't. And I don't mean this anybody. I don't mean this in a bad way, but I don't think that I I have not recreated on my own. Like I don't I I don't have anything because I didn't want any. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want any of my own because I don't have the. Everybody's like, oh, you don't know if you have the patience. I'm pretty sure I don't have the patience. Not now. That's how my uh, my uh, brother Jamie uh, is. He he don't have any, and that's, that's I don't have thing. the patience. There's no way I can. I I I like doing. I like being the uncle and the grandfather. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm good with that. That's 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 easy. That, that you don't. You know, I can tell you what to do, and and get on to you, and I can hang out with you and be fun, and and get you all riled up and then hand you back to who you belong to. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, now, now the ones I did take care of, you know, are now 23, 21 years old and, and, and slowly taking care of like, well, of course, you know, the 23 year old's got one of his own. He got to take care of himself. Mm -hmm. I'll help when he needs it, but he don't act like he needs it ever. You know, when, and, and sometimes I'm like, don't, you don't need nothing. You need something, don't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, at least, can, and then, you know, can we keep, can we keep the grandbaby? No. Okay then. All right. Well. All right. All right. Well. Baby. Grandbaby can't stay. Oh, okay. No. All right. Well. All right. Yeah, that's how it be. Grandbaby can't stay the night until she can talk. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, oh. You. You just want to make sure nobody's talking shit about. Oh. Okay. All right. Well. You. Okay. That's what I get out of it. Yeah. That's all helicopter mom though. I don't care. Maybe she listens to the podcast. If she does, then I'm talking about you. But anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah. After party is awesome. Uh, called out. I, I called some. I called somebody out for about being a racist. Uh, end up being one. And then, um, what else happened? I'm proud of that. I'm always proud when I fucking call somebody out like that. <laughs> I am. I am always like, there's something wrong with that dude. I don't like that guy. The energy is there. Yeah, they, you know, welcome to the hell. I'm like, bitch, I drive over this motherfucker going to the bank every day. <laughs> you, I ain't no, you acting like I'm someplace I ain't supposed to be, and that pisses me off. Yeah, man. I, I was invited here. But, you know, people in their, uh, their egos or their self, their inflated self worth. Um, I think it's, it's somebody scared that they might not be as what they think they are. That's a possibility, but yeah. you also have the possibility of, of them actually believing that they they. Are, <laughs> so that's and that's yeah, probably worse. Yeah, yeah, they have been, they, you know, came from a long line of motherfuckers who believe believed. I, I still can't believe he looked at me and said, "What's the?" I had my Pittsburgh Pirates uh, hat on. I'm a I'm a big uh, Pittsburgh uh, Penguins fan, but but hockey uh, New Era doesn't make hockey hats. They don't make hockey. They don't have the license to NHL. For some reason, I think because Adidas bought it. But uh, so I, I wear a Pittsburgh Pirates hat mm -hmm. just to just to represent Pittsburgh in hockey. And I know everybody don't make I don't maybe it don't make sense. It makes a lot of fucking sense to me. <laughs> um, uh, but he was like, "What's that P stand for?" It's like Pittsburgh. He says, "Welcome to Georgia." I'm like, "I live here. I'm from right here in Rome. Yeah. And this is where I stay. I've been here for." 20 years hmm. almost he goes well welcome to the hill i drive over this damn thing going to the bank every day 
I mean, I'm not just, you know, and then I was just like, look at, look at Dollar Bill. And I was like, I don't like that guy. There's something wrong with him. Mm -hmm. That dude is, uh, thinks that dude just feels like he's downplaying me right now for some reason. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, the, you know, that was Thursday night. And then Saturday night, me and, uh, me and my, my, my good friend here end up going back downtown and having a fantastic time. So you guys check out the Instagram. You see me do a chug video where I hang out at the Foundry. You see Justin and Jamie's in it mm -hmm. and our, our good buddy uh, uh, Nacho mm -hmm. and Nacio, which is cool and cool ass motherfucker. And then uh, uh, it, then me and Otato. Mm -hmm. And uh, we end up going to this after party. Nacho. D Tuck. Yeah, D Tuck was there too. But uh, Nacho didn't even have a pass and still got in that motherfucker. D Tuck got, was there too. He, he come in after he got off work and didn't yeah, have a pass. Man, Nobody man. gave a shit at that at, point. At a certain point in the time of the night when the drinks is flowing and everybody in there got something around their neck, ain't nobody sitting there. Nobody time. gives a shit. Yeah, we, we just having a good time. But, uh, well, prequel, Thursday night, uh, down uh, during the one pint at a time, which, uh, shout out to our culture and uh, um, uh, uh, Cajun Fire Brewing. Our culture brewing, Cajun Fire Brewing, two awesome breweries uh, that we met. We met uh, John, and I cannot think of our culture brewings. Uh, I can't think of his name for nothing. I know John was with Cajun Fire, and I can't think of his name for anything. And uh, I apologize, but both of you guys are awesome. The beers were great. Um, but yeah, y'all, the whole you guys were fantastic, and um, I think maybe. Dad's looking it up right now, but um, but yeah, we I don't know if I don't think I don't think Derek was standing there with me, but uh, we we met the the girl that that uh this, this uh girl from the Bahamas. I met her, and uh, she had a beautiful accent. I don't know if you met her or not. I don't but, believe. Uh, she was a, she was a short lady. She was from the Bahamas. Oh, was I, I I came at the tail end of y'all meeting. Okay. Uh, not I didn't find his name on it. I was, they just tagged him with the uh, with the brewery. Um, okay. Buddy from our our culture. Yeah, I cannot mm -hmm. think of his name. He they he should have on the on their Instagram. There is a picture of just him, and I thought maybe they had his name on there. On the all culture brewing, they follow us now on Instagram. But um, anyways, it uh, it appears to be her that he that this fuck said something racist to, and uh, they end up kicking him out. And uh, apparently, I was following pretty close because I wanted to see what was going on. But apparently, Isaiah uh, Smith, Isaiah, yeah. that was his name. Yeah. Yep, Isaiah. Shout out to you, buddy, because. You were awesome cat too. Stood outside with me and Joey and Skinny Deville and talked to. We took, sat out there and talked for a long time uh, before uh, we took off to go to the after party on Thursday. It was pretty awesome. Um, but so apparently, um, one of the people or a couple of the people uh, advised whoever, and I, I don't know if it was maybe Oliver, Oliver Robbins. Shout out to him too. I don't know if it was Oliver. Or who it was, but apparently somebody advised uh, everybody to make sure uh, that the guys with the podcast, the one with the beard, the one with the dreads, make sure that they did not, they were not aware of where they were kicking this guy out at. I don't know if you knew about that or not. No, I'm confused. But, uh, the guy, that, the racist guy, when they were kicking him out, they didn't want us to know where they were ex escorting him out at. Hmm. Why? I don't know. I don't know if it was me following him around, asking him what he said or what he did or something. Maybe I was a little bit aggressive, which I might have been because <laughs> I was drinking because I wanted to know what he said. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. But they didn't they want were, us to know. They didn't want us to know where well, they were letting him out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey. Hey, you know, we, good. We didn't need to know. Good. You probably not. Not not then because maybe I was being a little uh, overzealous. <laughs> but yeah, from uh, I just yeah yeah I do remember because uh, um, I was saying I was like, what y'all gonna do? Y'all just gonna give his dick a tug and and pat him on the ass and say you shouldn't have done that, buddy? And fucking I do remember saying some shit like that. I can't remember who which one it was, but uh, they were like 
Yo, uh, no, Matt, you, uh, they're not going to let you uh, go over there and talk to them. Yeah. That, that's, uh, I do remember that that, uh, that being said. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. What did he say? And then that, that one, there was some lady said, no, let, no, I know I know him personally. Let me talk. Just let me, let me talk to him. And I'm like, ah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you what, know, that, that one well, lady. Well, you told me about it. That's yeah. what happened. I, I wasn't around when it happened. Me and Jamie was up, upstairs uh, smoking. Yeah. And, on that, um, oh, oh yeah, the the fucking rooftop patio up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I came down, Anyways, it was like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, they, they yeah, won't man. let they won't let poor Matt talk to the racist <laughs> guy. I just want to have a chat with him. But outside of that, man, yeah. Oliver yeah, that and um, you uh, re- one of I feel like it's uh, you relations. I get it right. Yes. It is yes, okay. Yeah. You relations, man. Y'all, uh, y'all hosted and threw a, a dope um, riff after party. Um, mm-hmm. It was a masquerade uh, themed, and it was very uh, cool, man. I did not know that until we walked in. I'm like, hmm. I knew it, but I forgot. But I wasn't in like I was going. <laughs> no, I wasn't yeah, either. Yeah. But I was like, what is going on in here? Uh, and shout out to my uh, my brother, man, uh, uh, Jamie, my um, my big little brother. I, uh, <laughs> he he and I um, share a brother and um, Enrico who who has transitioned from this plane um, oh. a, well, a, a, a good bit of years ago now. Really? But, um, yeah, it, it was back in. Um, well, but I've heard 08. you talk about him though. Who, Jamie? No, Rico. Oh yeah, yeah. I talk about. I, so you guys really can. Shit, no, nah, not by blood, blood, but it wouldn't make us uh, no closer. Like, yeah, well, no, no, I, no, that's why I'm, I yeah, mean, I understand yeah, yeah, that, yeah. but but yeah, man, um, I'm surprised uh, that me and me and Jamie don't know each other already. Many people yeah, don't that, know that's us. crazy. I thought y'all uh, would, but um, he enjoyed, he really enjoyed that night, man. He was very stoked to uh, to to meet Mario Van Peoples. Really, any of that uh, that happened last night, cause he went, that night he wasn't expecting it. He just thought it was on some let's let's go drink at the bar uh, type shit. And I was like, bro, I told you all this shit was going on. But he didn't he, expect he the pass did, and all that he stuff? Did, yeah, he, I guess he didn't understand the magnitude and um, or he didn't uh, uh, expect the pass. He'd be ha- have listening. But, you know, when our brother uh, passed, we kind of, um, you know, we... we Clean to each other. That's really all we got uh, left it, of him is our memories of him, and you know what I'm saying. So we um uh we I ain't uh, seen bro. That was probably my first night in a couple months. Cause I just been uh, mad busy, but we always try to get together on his homecoming day on uh mom on mom's day mom homecoming mm-hmm. day um. On his birth, on Rico birthday, um, just you know any any event where we can uh, celebrate him in our own way, and then you know just just be each other crutches because that was a loss. That was a it's a very loss, a very big loss, and you know you just don't get over something like that. So we just got to we stay checked in on, on with each other. So I'm glad he was able to come out and um, experience that little bit of. Uh, of riff and just uh hanging with hip and hops man it was, it was a dope uh dope experience we we had a good weekend man yeah very good man no complaints i could do that weekend over and over again you know what i mean i always stay busy networking meeting people you know what i'm saying just really out there uh what they call it foot uh boots to uh to the ground yeah pavement boot yeah boots yeah. pavement you know what i'm saying pounding the pavement yeah man so you, that, that was dope that was you can dope. do without everything but that one thing yes sir but that one thing um but what you uh Enough oh, about the, yeah, the we got the weekend. Yeah, yeah, we, we what, gonna, um, what well, you drinking on this week, man? We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about what I got. We're gonna talk about what you got, and we're gonna talk about my little Black Friday thing I got planned, which I'm probably gonna invite Jamie to if he can make it. Yeah, and uh, uh, we we'll, we'll talk about that and all that shit. But uh, we are we done rambled on for about thirty minutes already before we even got this ad in. Yeah, yeah. So and yeah, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. But yeah, I got some Kona brewing that I'm gonna check out after after the little break here. And uh, uh, what kind of crypto kind of kind of like you got over there? Man, I have a strain called Monster Cookies. 
Monster Cookies. Monster Cookies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm uh, diving in. I'm interested in what the Big. hell. That's a mixture of some shit. On my Cookie Monster shit. This this uh, it's flipped. But I'm on I my Cookie it. Monster shit today. You know, nom nom nom. <laughs> 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 cookie, <laughs> baby. <laughs> So it's, go, it's going down in a major way when we come back from paying these these bills. <laughs> That's right. People. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do if you knew me. Return. Name it after me or take care of that bitch.